Dun 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 is a brand new, uh, rather recent addition to the Shonen Plus lineup. And with the anime adaptation releasing this fall season, I thought it would be a good time to read the manga, as we now live in an age of easily accessible leaks, and I'm the type of person who don't want to be spoiled of anything. <clears throat> so yeah, I read Dun Dun Dun, and it was... an experience, for sure. But what really blew me away reading the manga was the mind-bogglingly good art. Yukinobu Tatsu is the mangaka of Dun Dun Dun, and what makes his art so damn good is the fact that it's so dynamic. Characters posing in a unique and difficult angles to draw, warping perspective of the space in the character's anatomy. I'm so tired of manga always looking the same when it comes to framing and compositions. Dun 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 is not like the others. It can just be a simple drawing of a shrine and Yukinobu Butatsu will find a way to make it feel as three-dimensional as possible. But the panels that contain action is where his dynamic artwork is really showcased. Like look at this panel. I can feel the impact because of how detailed the drawing is and how he framed the characters in such a complex angle. And here's the kicker. Dun 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 does this a lot. Every time the manga wants to hammer home an important moment or some grand action, the author would just reach deep into his artist bag and pull out some of the most intricate illustrations you've ever seen. Four point perspectives? Yep. Five point perspectives? Got that too. God, there's so many of these perspective shots and they're all so damn good. Let's talk about detail, or more specifically, pencil mileage. Now what's pencil mileage you may be asking? Well, as the word mileage suggests, it's about the amount of drawings an individual does in relation to detail. So for example, Guts would be a character that would take a lot of pencil mileage as you need to draw his bulky armor strapped with a bunch of other items and his iconic greatsword. Now looking at the character designs of Dun Dun Dun, the characters look simple. They're not exactly an accurate depiction of the human anatomy as anime and manga don't really follow those guidelines, but Yukinobu Tatsu will always find a way to hit his daily quota of pencil mileage. Lines on the hair. The uniforms, random hatching place that depicts shading and details. It's not just the characters themselves who are heavy on the ink, but the background art as well. Holy frack! Now, background art is something that most mangakas avoid doing, as the amount of work you would need to put in isn't really worth it when you can just simply place the characters in a blank void. As long as the characters are drawn well and are in focus, it won't really matter whether or not there's a background. But here's the thing Yukino Butatsu is built fucking different. Cityscapes, tunnels, hallways, schools, like there's no need to do this. This is just a drawing of our main characters walking to the urinal. Why do you need to draw the tiles with such precision? The action once again goes dummy hard. I already talked about how the author uses different angles and perspectives to spice up his drawings, but his abundant usage of lines is what really sells the impact and movement of the characters. You wanna show a character running fast as fuck? Just use a bunch of sketchy smears and speed lines to, to depict it. Now combine his loose and chaotic line work with his eye for detail, and you can see why the action for this manga is amazing. Debris flying everywhere, smoke spouting outwards as the characters blitz and launch themselves at each other. The fights in Dun 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 always feels visceral and fast paced, and the best part is it never loses me. I don't get overwhelmed by the details or feel like the pages are overcrowded. Yukino Butatsu knows how to put in detail while still putting focus on the characters. It's what I would call controlled chaos, which is an oxymoron I know, but it's the best way to describe this manga and the mangaka himself, cause he is chaos incarnate but he actually knows how to funnel that energy into something productive, like me. Now, Yukino Abutatsu is a great artist, that's without a doubt. His technical skills and understanding of three-dimensional spaces already got him up there with the current greats of Shonen Jump. But what makes him, in my opinion, to be at the pedigree of some of the greatest manga artists to ever do it is his versatility. Seriously, this man can do no wrong. Yukino Abutatsu used to be an assistant for Tatsuki Fujimoto and Yuji Kaku, working on Chainsaw Man in Hell's Paradise, and you can really tell he took those experiences he had with those goaded mangakas and implemented it to his style. Cause this man can draw anything. Mystical ancient creatures? He can do that. Industrial and modern complexes? Uh huh. Aquatic creatures like a giant fucking crab? Yep. Advanced space machinery? Let's check that box out too. Kaiju battles? Sure, why not? Hell, he may even combine some of these elements together. What do you get when you take the Loch Ness Monster and slap him with some robo parts? You get this. As a man who's afraid of murky deep oceans, this panel evoked some emotions out of me. This is absurd. How can this manga go from being dark, sinister, ominous, with heavy shading and pencil mileage, making the characters look intimidating or in the verge of shitting themselves, then go to minimum detail, chibi art style, slice of life, and is that the sandworm from Dune? Oh, nope. It's actually Star Wars. How? How? How are you able to do this? We are 140 chapters deep into this manga and it still hasn't slowed down. 
Don't forget, this is a weekly serialization, and we still get these absurd double page spreads, these detailed and dynamic panels. Tell me you, Kinabu Tatsu. Tell me how you got this good. How many push-ups did you do? How many sit-ups? What kind of juice did you drink? Do you have 100 artists in your basement slaving away for your manga? Is there a shortcut? And if so, please tell me what it is and what wizardry software you're using. We live in an age of digital art now, so I know you gotta be using- Oh. He does the majority of his work on paper. Yeah, I'm gonna kill myself. Inside.